Kibbutz Be'eri was one of the worst hit Israeli communities in the devastating October 7th attack by Hamas gunmen from the Gaza Strip. More than 100 people were killed in the attack on the community of about 1,000 people, and 32 members were taken captive back to Gaza, 11 of whom are still believed held hostage. And on Thursday, the Israeli military published the findings of a first probe into its own security failings, acknowledging it failed to protect the citizens of Be'eri. Israeli Army spokesperson Daniel Hagari. It is painful and difficult for me to say this. The Israeli Defense Forces should have defended the residents of Kibbutz Be'eri. But unfortunately, we were not there. For long hours of fighting, for hours, the residents of Be'eri defended their families with their bodies, alone, in front of the terrorists. The investigation found Israel's military was unprepared for the scenario of a massive infiltration of militants into Israel, had inadequate forces in the area, and did not have a clear picture of the events until hours after the attack began. The rampage through Be'eri and other Israeli communities near the border with Gaza killed 1,200 people, according to Israeli tallies. It was Israel's deadliest day and the worst attack on Jews since the Holocaust. The military presented its reports to Be'eri's residents, many of whom were relocated across the country to a resort beside the Dead Sea. Amit Solvay is Kibbutz Be'eri's chairman. We didn't get an answer because they don't have an answer. They did an investigation and the conclusion of this investigation, this is what uh, was supposed to calm me down in the future. But we didn't get the answer why the army didn't come in a minute. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant on Thursday called for a state inquiry into the security failings of the October 7th attack. He said the probe should investigate Gallant himself and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Gallant spoke at a military graduation ceremony with Netanyahu present. Netanyahu has dismissed past calls to form a state inquiry. Two for win. Oh, wow, what the fuck? The business on the one of one.